Hey, it's Kevavini Peace Punk Production. Welcome, new viewers. Welcome to my channel. And for those who watched the last two episodes, thank you. I guess they were just for a few people. Eleven, hello, twin flames out there. Twin flame is just somebody who's whole and doesn't need anybody else. Okay. Today I'm going to talk about ironing out your vibration. How to clean up your vibration. Now, I'm assuming you know how to stay on a high vibration. If you don't, then watch the video, How to Stay on a High Vibration. It's pretty self-explanatory, but it's as simple as like eating clean, sleeping enough, all the basics that you've learned. That's how you keep a high vibration. That's how you keep a healthy vibration. If you're finding that you're in contrast, you can tell when you start to feel like creepy crawly in your skin, you feel anxious, you feel depressed, and this is for people who do not have a diagnosed mental illness, okay? In the last episode, I didn't mention that. My apologies to people who have mental health issues. When I said you're not following your heart, if you're depressed or suicidal, some people are following their heart. One, 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 twin flames everywhere. Yo, you'll adjust to my fruitiness here if you're new. Um, for those of you who have a mental health issue, take your meds, take care of yourself. I'm not saying that you're not following your heart if you're depressed or you're suicidal in general. It's just sometimes you can tell when you're doing really well, you're really happy, and you feel like you're on the path, right? And then suddenly you feel like you're not. You feel like everything's wrong, you feel really weird. That, that's a sign to slow down, okay? And it's gonna be anti what everybody tells you. People are gonna be mad at me for saying this. Now, let's say they won't be, okay? But it's a secret, just slow down. It's a secret of business people, it's a secret of successful people that you slow down when you need to figure something out, when things are getting sticky, slow down. It's like Lao Tzu says, nature doesn't hurry, yet everything's accomplished. It seems counterintuitive, like when I was talking about meditating, for those of you who watched the episode, it was only a few of you, the last one, I was talking about meditating to be more productive in work. When I meditate, I'm more productive at my jobs when I'm getting gigs and so I have to remember to be calm and take time because if you're rushed that's when you start making mistakes that's when you can get on a bad vibration sometimes it's a series of steps for me it was as simple and this sounds really silly as putting Gatorade in my my water I used to put lemon in my water I ran out of lemon and I'm on a budget so I was using Gatorade powder that my sister had bought me and eventually I got sick and it was, it was a result of the sugar. So when you're eating high uh, clean and you have a high vibration from eating clean, you're eating a healthy diet, drinking lemon water, following the suggestions in the high vibe video, you'll notice pretty quickly when you go on a low vibe. And the key to, to get out of the low vibe is to slow down, okay? Push everything back, slow down. Nothing's that important. It's a secret you're gonna be really happy that you followed because everything will work out, okay? And anybody starting to stress or pressure, that's a sign, sometimes that's a sign, okay? And a lot of times the adjustment, when you're feeling like things are not doing good, when you're out of alignment, everything feels like crap, it's really just God, your higher self, the universe, that's the only way the universe can get you to pay attention, okay? Is pain, sickness, feeling like crap. It's like we're machines and we need a tune up right? And so you tuned yourself up, you manifested, you visualized, you decided where you wanted to be, your life started getting better, and then all of a sudden you're back, okay? But if you didn't have the contrast, you probably need the contrast, okay? You need the contrast. You were where you were, you're headed, things were working out, now they're not, you're freaking out. Don't freak out too much, it's a test, okay? It's a test by the universe to make sure that you want to stay on the high vibe, okay? And it's also a reminder to clear up your vibration. So take some time to rest, okay? Rest is really important. People do not give it enough credit. Sleep enough. I think a lot of people need to sleep more with the pandemic. I'm, I'm as, as your yogi, I would say you need to sleep more during the pandemic. Less is more. Okay, if you're pushing yourself to work out really hard, stuff like that, give yourself recovery time, okay? Eat enough protein. Sometimes your vibration is low because you're not eating enough protein. If you're on a vegan or vegetarian diet, be really conscious of that. Make sure that you're adding enough protein from soy rizzo, tofu, beans, quinoa, you know, cashew yogurt, anything that's gonna increase the protein, okay? 
or add sun warrior protein, something like that. Because you need to make sure you have enough protein. I've noticed a lot of times for myself, and this is going to be very boring to people who aren't into health and having a clean vibration. Um, it's usually I have a low vibe because I'm not eating enough protein. I'm not sleeping enough. Okay, and those are the two things I can usually tie it back to. Hanging out with toxic, stressful people, not a good idea. And you know, you can tell, you can feel it in your body, okay, when people are not online with your values. And it doesn't mean that they're bad people, so don't think about them. And I want to stress that. The most important thing is to keep your positive vibrations, okay? So watch the positive vibration or positive affirmations video and the high vibe video if you haven't. If you already know that stuff, most people do. Um, don't don't beat yourself up if you don't, okay? Most people do, um, who are watching this, I'm assuming. I'm just trying to talk about the contrast. So when you're back in the contrast and you're feeling icky, you got your vibe high, don't beat yourself up. The key, what I'm learning, to get out quicker, don't beat yourself up at all. Like, for example, this morning I got up late, slept a lot, dealing with a little bit of a head cold, okay? No, it's not COVID, <laughs> but it's it's from my own sugar consumption. Oh, I can tell. So you just know, if you know your body. <laughs> so you can blame yourself, right? In the past, I used to beat myself up, okay? I'm sharing this with you to help you out. I used to beat myself up. Now, what I did was I listened to a bunch of positive affirmations, a lot, okay? Sometimes you need to go back to the beginning. Back to the beginning is positive affirmations. If you're in a bad headspace, you're not feeling good, rest and do positive affirmations. If you can't get enough rest, do the positive affirmations when you're going to bed, when you're getting up a little earlier. You can set your alarm, you can put the positive affirmations on, you can sleep that last hour. There's a couple ways you can do it, okay? You can listen to them when you're on the bus, if you take the bus, if you're in an Uber, if you take the Uber. Just in the morning, usually I listen to them in the morning. Sometimes I'll push all my duties back okay like job hunting whatever else is on the list hunting for gigs and just listen to positive affirmations because you're not going to get anywhere if you're in that negative headspace and you're going to attract a lot of stress type stuff okay and i know this from experience because i used to create the most stressful life you can imagine <laughs> and ended up getting myself killed with my own actions okay and came back to be a positivity coach i keep having to remind people of that because i was nothing okay and that's why i decided that's the only thing I can be is positive because from positivity stems everything else. And I come from a lot of skeptic people who are afraid to be positive, okay? They feel like it's a lie and all this. I'm not speaking to them, okay, anymore. Because people who want to be positive and want to have a high vibe are watching this channel. People who don't, don't, okay? People who talk smack will always find something to talk smack about. But God bless them. And I send them love. And God bless all the haters. Because you make me who I am today. You make me better. You always point out everything I'm doing wrong. And I can just feel it. Because I'm a psychic. So, anyways. Still hanging in there. Supporting the underserved. Here for you. Trying to give you some tips. The biggest takeaway I've learned with the last one. I got on a really bad vibration. I was beating myself up. It took me a while to get out of it. About a week. Starting to get out of it, have to be really careful. It was really hard to push the space to figure out what was happening and then push the space to, to clear it up and figure out what the issue was. So a lot of times your brain, you'll get a mind storm. And the best way out of the mind storm when your head starts going nuts and the overthinking is you can put on some binaural recordings for overthinking. I think Mind in Unison was the last one I used. Be very careful, just make sure that you always do like a subliminal flush or something. Make sure that you don't listen to any subliminals with bad. There's some bad ones out there. Somebody was talking about some really bad ones that make people sick, so be careful, okay? I recommend the ones that I know are safe, that have never hurt me. And you just know, you can feel it in your heart, in your gut. So I'm assuming most people know how to follow their heart because they didn't click on the last one, which is awesome. So you guys are all following your hearts, which is great. We've got musicians, we've got writers, we've got abuse survivors, we've got people hanging in there in abusive relationships. We've got people just trying to keep a little bit of positivity every day. So I'm trying to give you a little video, video every day almost just to give you a little boost, okay? It helps me feel more positive to share that with you. The biggest takeaway 
is that you can't beat yourself up, okay? You have to be loving to yourself. That's the biggest way you're gonna recover from negativity and recover from subconscious blocks. The other thing you can do if you're feeling bad, I had another suggestion, I lost it. Angels, can you help me? They said everybody seems to be doing better with their positive affirmations. I'm gonna assume that that's true. That's good, okay? I, I know I'm doing better. It's starting to become a regular thing, whereas when, t when there's downtime, I would just think negative thoughts by default because that's what was put into my head. And some of them are harder to unprogram. Sometimes you'll get negative hate thoughts, ones that obsess. Like for me, it's like this one word that will get stuck in my mind. It will keep getting shouted at me because I think it was from my childhood. Sometimes those just take a lot of time to dissolve. You have to be patient. You're gonna have to go into the shadow. You go into the shadow. The shadow is all your subconscious hidden stuff. And I'll talk about that maybe next time, the shadow work. The more that you face the shadow and the dark stuff that you're hiding, and that's what you're doing by sitting and meditating and facing it and being present and conscious and watching this channel and doing healthy stuff, eating healthy, drinking healthy, sleeping, hanging out with people who are high vibe, 11-11, I'm positive, I'm powerful, I am inspirational, right? What are your guys's? Say them, three of them. Got it? You'll get it, okay? I know it's weird, um, but thank you for being here and thank you for keeping your vibe high. Biggest takeaway, again, contrast when you're in the low vibe and you've been in the high vibe and you know the low vibe, it's a contrast to adjust, start adjusting. You're, you're noticing what you do not like, okay? And you're sending requests back to the universe. You're saying, that wasn't okay, because you are a god in a small package. You get to create, okay? And you get to decide, like God, you get to decide what works and what doesn't. So you're like, this didn't work for me, okay? I'd rather be a unicorn. So just tell God that. Maybe you'll get a metaphorical example of being a unicorn. I've had some really silly things happen. One time I was trying to manifest money and I was on the beach. <laughs> and I was listening to Positive Manifestations for Money and a guy walked up to me and handed me a sand dollar. I was like, are you serious? Just out of nowhere. He's like, you should have this. I was like, all right, that's a sign. Sometimes you'll see little stuff like that. Universe is, is a joker. It's a joker. I don't want to give this away too much, but for some of us, it's a joker, and you'll notice things along the path, okay? It's like you planned this whole thing, and you set it up for yourself. Your higher self against your lower self. Now, my question about this is always like, if I'm the lower self, and I'm the ego, and I'm trying to figure this out, my higher self is using this body package, right? Why can't I just know everything? Why does it have to be this piecemeal, I figure it out as I go thing? Someday, you know, I still haven't figured that out with two near-death experiences, so I, I can't tell you. Does anybody else know? Write in the comments. Feel free to subscribe. It really helps me to continue to do this, because um, I'm gonna continue to do this as long as I don't have a lot of gigs going on, but the more people follow, the more I can do it. So if you like it, subscribe, share, and write in the comments. And thank you so much for being here. And thank you so much for being here, the ones who've been here for all along, who haven't said anything negative. You know, bless you. Take it easy, guys. Anything else, angels? Reward yourselves, guys. Give yourself some, something to look forward to, okay? For me, today was like Project Juice. I ordered something from Project Juice. I used to order from them all the time when I had a lot of cash flow. So just a little reminder, sometimes you have to get a little nice thing for yourself to remind yourself that those things still exist and they'll come back, okay? And anything else about low vibe, just don't get too caught on it and don't beat yourself up if you end up in the low vibe, if you end up with toxic people, it's just a learning experience. It's an adjustment, you can get out. You're gonna have to do more, a little more work, right? It's easier to dig a hole than it is to get out of it. So you have to get yourself out of that hole. But once you do, you'll be better, okay? Those of you dealing with like really low bottom, bottom stuff, like drug addiction, criminal activity, really bad people, positive affirmations, keep doing those, okay? You have to pretend that you're where you wanna be and then the steps will be clear to you, okay? All right, I'll talk to you guys later, bye.